Hey guys, this is Tim, back again with another video. And uh, in today's tutorial, we're gonna do a little bit of a fat lady dancing and then her fat blobbing around. Uh, so this was because a friend of mine asked me, like, how would you do something like that in Houdini? I would really love to see a video uh, about that. So I just gave it a try, it took like an hour maybe to put it together just for fun. Um, and then I posted that online just as a quick uh, play blast thing. And a lot of people seem to enjoy it and they asked uh, on how, how do you do that? Can you make a tutorial? So here I am making a tutorial about that. So um, yeah, let's, let's get into how we can make something like that. So um, this is gonna be uh, another one of the tutorials like I, like I did previously where uh, the basic tutorial is gonna be for free on, uh, on Vimeo. And then there's going to be a longer extended version, which is going to be on Patreon only. So the Patreon only one will include the model that I'm working on and will have some additional uh, stuff like uh, learning how, to, how we can do weight painting on certain parts of the body um, to make them like stiffer or more, more responsive to certain stuff based on attributes. Uh, and the free one will not include the model, so you have to get a model for yourself and it won't have any of the weight painting stuff. So, um, like if you want to watch the extended version, go to patreon.com slash Tim van Helsing and you can support me there and uh, then you can uh, watch this video while you buy me a beer, which is nice. So before we start uh, with the tutorial, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my Patreons, especially Chris Hebert for being a top Patreon. And without further ado, let's dive into the rest of the video. Right. So um, if you downloaded the model, uh, that means you're on Patreon. And I'd like to thank you very much for supporting me on Patreon. Um, but uh, so I get I got the model from CG, CG Trader and was made by uh, ArmsApp. And I got permission to include it in the, in the tutorial. I did remove the UVs. Uh, and I'm asking you guys, like, if you like this model and you wanted to use it for anything else than the tutorial, go to his page and uh, buy it there. Um, I will include the link to, uh, to his page in the, in the, in the description. But uh, it was provided for the tutorial, so you can download it and then we can use it for, uh, well, to get started. And the uh, animation itself is a Mixamo thing. If you don't know what Mixamo is, it's, it's by Adobe these days. Uh, but it's a whole library with like a ton of uh, animations. Uh, they have um, a lot of free models as well. Let me see. I could you have like some basic characters. Let's say I could uh, say uh, use Remy, some some character, and he gets loaded in. We get Remy as depots, and then we can apply an animation, and then we have a uh, dancing Remy. Uh, and Mixamo also has an auto rigger. Um, which you can use if you if you upload your own um, if you upload your own models. So let's do that. So we downloaded our uh, our model. Well, you sh should download download the model, and then you can up say upload, and then you can upload it in here. So it's gonna take a little bit. All right, you click next. Then we get these positioning things. So we just put those wherever indicated. Elbows, knees, groin. And then you click next and then you wait a little bit for the auto rig to do its magic. All right, so now we have a uh, auto rig thing. And you can see it looks uh, kind of weird because is uh, not really properly made, I guess, for models that are this thick, but this is fine because um, we're doing, gonna do all of the jiggly stuff with uh, uh, simulation anyway. So as long as we have the basic animation, it's fine. Let's click next. So now we have our, um, our T-Pose model here and you can download it, the T-Pose. And then You can download it. I already got mine downloaded, so I'll just leave them as they are. And then you can apply an animation. So I think I used uh, Samba animation. So this, uh, it's, it's this one. You can use any one you want, but 
this one works quite nice with the uh, with the jiggly um, you can see over here like we're just a basic rig this is not really working as intended like stuff is going through each other it's like the rig and the animation was not really meant for a lady so thick um, uh, anyway so once you've done that you can also download that one again I've already done that but you here you can uh, say to the frame rate you want so let's say 24 with skin no key frame reduction and you can just download it and again I already did that so I'm not gonna do that again and then we have our animated rig and then we can dive into Houdini to do all of the fun stuff so let's do that all right so now we're in Houdini uh, so there's multiple ways of loading FBX files um, there's a general thing where you can import FBX and then you get but then you get your FBX and your rig all on object level if it's already rigged you can just do it differently you can we can make a geometry node maybe call it uh, dancing or something go in here and let's make agent uh, so an agent allows you to load a FBX let's go in there uh, let's click fat lady samba and now we have our fat lady dancing inside of Houdini Maybe I uh, put it to a uh, real-time playback. Look at her go. Let's make uh, like a camera, maybe. Look at her go, isn't that nice? All right, let's call this uh, dancing, I guess. And let's load the other one. Call this depots. Uh, let's go in here. Select the depots, and then we have our depots here. And now we kind of want to blend between the two. Because the thing is, when we're going to do the simulation, we want to um, start out as our um, as our depots model. Um, because if we're going to start from the dancing one, we're going to have like pen interpenetrations and stuff. It's not really the most ideal pose to start uh, with simulation. So we want to start from the uh, from the from the depots. So first, let's time shift our dancing animation to start a little bit later. So let's clamp to first and new frame minus 15. So now it will remain static for the first 15 frames, and then we'll start animating. And then let's convert both of them so we can. So we have general polys because these are packed by default so like if you want to select this is a packed geometry now go and let's do a uh, blend shape and plug it in and then we can you can blend between the two so let's keyframe this from the first frame to frame 15 uh, to be one and so you can see that it's moves into position very nicely all right perfect so let's continue all right so from this one we want to time shift what we have here and we want to freeze frame this thing and then we maybe we want to delete some of the stuff that's gonna be a little bit weird when we're doing the simulations so let's set it to um, 3d connected geometry and okay so let's, uh, let's delete some of the well, let's just do it easier let's just select the outer skin delete that and we we don't want the inner piece for uh, our general stuff. That's, I, we don't want to dissolve. By the way, we want to, yeah, we want to do it like that. So okay, now so we want just want this shell uh, to do our um, simulation with, and maybe we want to uh, poly reduce it down a little bit. We can also, uh, like later, we can maybe increase the resolution again. But for just for to start off with our simulation, we want we want like a lower 
lower resolution model. So let's do something like this. Uh, so this 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 looks good to um, to start doing some simulation on. And now let's just do a Phelan soft body, and we want to use a tetrahedral soft body. And we need to have a tetrahedral soft body, else this won't work. Because why we need that is we need um, solid conform. So let me show you what what this does. Uh, so let's say if I let's turn off this stuff. So what this does is tetrahedralizes the thing, so it, it adds interior detail. And what we want to do is we want to grab some stuff on the inside and then um, have it have it uh, like have that move with the original animation, and then the other outer stuff we just want to jiggle it around. Um, well, let's let's first try if this this does anything weird or if it if it actually works. So let's do a column solver, which is kind of used to the sub level solver for this one and it's gonna think a little bit let's put a uh, put a grid down it's a collision object and let's just uh, let's just play this yep that works we have a uh, fat lady falling down perfect Right, so now that we know that at least the thing wants to simulate, we can uh, start uh, constraining some of the some of the stuff and have it um, have that animate with the uh, with the original animation. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to start constraining some of the uh, inner points. So of course, there's a lot of ways you could you could do that. Um, you could like manually select points. I kind of want to keep it procedural, to be honest. So what you could do is you could group certain stuff. Uh, so you could like put groups on the hands and on the feet. So stuff that that uh, stuff that won't won't move basically. Uh, what I did, it's not really that great of a way, but it works procedurally. So I want to again input my FBX again uh, as a depots, but this time I want to do it on. Uh, OBJ level. So then you get this entire object level thing. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to object merge uh, the bones in. So into this object. And I want it to mix them all with. Now let's do. like that uh, so I put two stars so maximum rig underscore star star so that it will load the entire rig thing so now we have our depot rig here we can just transform this down to a smaller scale so then we have our um, our bones inside here and then we have then we have this thing And then we can use this to transfer an attribute to our solid conform, and then uh, use that to, to group to group our points. So I realize it's a little bit silly of a way to do it, but again, you could use any way you want. Uh, doesn't really matter that much. But uh, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna convert this to geometry. And I'm gonna scatter points on it. So we have. Some points here, and I'm gonna color them. So I'm gonna make these red. So we have uh, red points, and then over here, I'm gonna make our little lady black. Let's make uh, the trees the trees a little bit smaller, maybe. And let's do a attribute transfer. And let's transfer the color from these points to over here. So let's transfer color. And we want to do it with a little bit of a soft fall off. And so what we're going to get now is it's going to um, 
automatically like this is the hands that we don't want to be very jiggly are going to be red there's going to be stuff on the insides red that's uh selected that's going to have um going to be red so this is an easy way to uh to select it and it's going to be procedural because uh, it's going to be driven by the bones here so it doesn't matter like i i can still change stuff in here um and it would and it would still work um so that that's why i did it that way and then we're going to do an attribute wrangle and we want to group our stuff so let's let's say that if the the color dot so cd dot x is greater than 0 0.1 then add group dot uh pins points is one equals one uh all right so now we have a uh have a group pin points with 600 and uh, 31 points in it so those are points so let's call this group points And if I put down a transform now, you could say pin points, and you can see I can transform the uh, the inner parts of my uh, of my fat lady. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to put down a point deform, and we want to put it in here. And we want to put down a time shift first, like that, and put our original animation here. In here, let's uh, freeze it, put it in the rest point lattice, and then put the deformed one in there. Maybe put like a little dot with the alt key, maybe like that. No. Like that to make it look a little bit more clean. Right. right. So then what we have is a uh, fat lady dancing, and I just discovered something very weird, which I'm not sure what it's about. But if you can see, if I press W, I can see the inside part moving. But if I go to shaded view, I only see the outer parts. Not sure what that's about. If it's like a bug or if there's something with the visualization of the tetrahedron but uh anyway that's that's what it does um but yeah that's that's the points being root but they're they're uh, they're being animated uh animated away so now we have a fin lady inside our fat lady uh and that fin lady inside our fat lady can can um can can start driving our our uh our fat so let's do that let's go to back to the shaded mode uh, attribute delete. Oh, attribute delete is the rule of the color. Uh, like that. We can actually see a little bit better what we're doing. All right. So what we need to do is we need to put down another vellum constraints. Like that. And let's put it to thing. Uh, it's attach geometry points target group let's see on that maybe it's pin to target um point group pin points match animation let's put it to soft now we're just constraining it to the uh to its own animation basically all right so let's let's see what this is going to do All right, so I played through it a little bit, and it's working. It's, uh, it's a little bit too jiggly right now. You can tweak that a little bit. And we need to make our fat a little bit less, less jiggly. You can see it's going, uh, going a little all over the place. Let's play it again. Whoop. Loop, loop. Some st crazy stuff happening in the back there. Maybe make it a little bit, uh, like a bit more stiff. And an extra zero in there. Let's see what it does. All right. So I changed a couple of things. Um, 
I on top here I changed the I removed the time shift there so it, it blends a little bit more smoothly between the uh, the typos and the uh, and the animation change some of the poly reduce settings the solid conform settings uh, and just some overall settings in the uh, in the constraints so mainly I changed the distance constraint to uh, be 500 and I think I upped the uh, like I changed the rest length scale which will slinker down a little bit in the beginning uh, and uh, up to stiffness and then what you get is you can see your sling a little bit and then the arm stuff in the beginning is a little bit weird but apart from that we get quite a nice uh, dancing fat lady so let's flip book this a little bit to just see what this does and then uh, only a couple of things remain for the uh, for the initial part of it so let's uh, wait for this to flip book Maybe it's a little bit too stiff still. Could maybe lower this to 220. Let's see what that does. You can see if I play this, it's gonna make quite a big difference. A yeah, little weird, little weird thing going on with the arm there, but general you can see now it's suddenly a lot more floppy I'm thinking I'm liking this better already yeah this is nice so let's uh, have this simulate for a couple of more frames and then we'll continue all right so now you can see her uh, right shaking her booty so now what remains is we want to kind of do a vellum post process and maybe you want to you want you would want to cache it before first uh, I'm not going to do that in this case because it's quite a, li a light uh, simulation but um, well maybe you want to smooth this out a little bit over here and now what we want to do is we want to take our original geometry so that's over here That's the original high res, maybe call it like OG. Why is it not? Yeah, OG, because it's the original gangster. And let's point deform this one. So we want to take this as an input, then take a time shift, uh, delete the channel here, put this uh, in the rest geometry, and then the deformed point lattice in. That's one. And now we will have our complete original fat lady model shaking her body. Pretty thick. That's what they call it nowadays, right? Uh, let's uh, flip this again. And then I think we're done for the uh, for the free version of this tutorial then I'm gonna have a uh, another extended version as I said on patreon which is gonna have a little bit more of advanced stuff with uh, where then we're gonna do, do some weight painting on the uh, on the model itself uh, to control where the jiggly jiggly bits happen so um, if you wanna want to watch more of that subscribe to me on patreon patreon.com slash and then you can watch the more advanced stuff uh, so uh, hopefully see you there and uh, else uh, let's see you on another tutorial. Bye!